of Chody Komodi. It's this band that Simon told me about, but I don't know, man. Their stuff's really stupid. Yeah, it's stupid. It's all about planets and spaceships. Like some kind of spacey Doom Corps band. And uh, Charles, dude, their live shows are really weird. They have these groupies on stage. And they're just like open mouth and they get sprayed with fake blood from this giant set of fake cow udders. <laughs> That's disgusting, man. Why would Simon recommend that to me? I don't know, do you guys do you guys think it's fucked up what we did? No. Dude, Simon needed our help. He was just too free to ask for it. We 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 did the right thing. Yeah, dude, he's probably as freaked out as we are. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I know this has been going on for a while, but I only noticed it a couple weeks ago when Simon came over and broke my toilet. Let me tell you this story. So Simon comes over with a case of beer. Normal Saturday afternoon, reading a magazine. Simon wants to come over and play video games. Come in! Hello? Oh, what's up, man? Hey, man, how's it going, Fitz? Uh, it's going all right. What's up with you, Simon? Nothing, man. I've had a ton of coffee, though. Mm -hmm. You got some beer? Yeah, man, help yourself. What the fuck, dude? There's only like 15 beers in here. 15 we can drink, man. <laughs> We're gonna have to make a gas station run later. Yeah, you're right. I gotta pee first. Is it upstairs? Yeah, you know where it is. All right. That's on his piss. Shit, man. Um, I don't think you're supposed to be pissing blue. That energy drink I'm hooked on is turning my piss blue lately. It's no big deal, though. Energy drinks aren't supposed to do that. Yeah, they do. Like, all the vitamins in it, like, they turn your piss different colors. This one's blue. It's no big deal. I mean, I'll go flush it for you, man. If I were you, I'd go see a doctor. If it keeps if it keeps happening, I'll definitely see a doctor. But I mean, it doesn't hurt. It's just piss. Just piss. What'd you say after that? Oh, nothing. I mean, we just hung out and played video games. Some other shit I didn't tell you guys about. Uh, like, it probably happened a couple weeks ago. Probably before the blue piss thing, but I, you know, I don't know. Like, what happened? 
Well, like, Simon wanted to hang out, so I had him come with me and do field recordings, and <laughs> it was like he'd never been outside before. Once we got to the site, I mean, everything was going pretty well. Like, we saw a lot of birds when we first came in, and we were picking up a lot of good ambient sounds. I mean, it was cool Simon wanted to help, but it was kind of stressful, man. And he kept getting freaked out by all the insects. I was just like, dude, have you ever seen a bug before? found this really cool overgrown area and I don't know I guess he cut his hand but I didn't notice it at first and then when I saw it it was all blue so I thought he smashed his hand in a bear patch but luckily I had my first aid kit alcohol swab ointment bandage eastern Norwegian crosshatch because I didn't have any safety pins I mean, you are saying the fucking blood was blue? Yeah, man. Yeah, his piss was blue too, dude. And he just had all these excuses as to why he would have blue stuff coming out of his body. I just gave him something to do and try to figure out what was going on, you know. But even the small task I gave him, he was still screwing it up. Then we found this tree and I wanted him to put a mic in the top of it to get some cool canopy sounds. So I just decided we needed to leave before he died or something. Todd, didn't you say that you had a weird experience with Simon? Yeah, that shit was gross, dude. Simon, stop, you gotta cut the details first before you cut out the big parts. Because if you cut out this big section, your stencil's gonna be all wobbly, and when you're trying to cut out the little shit, you'll end up ripping your stencil. This is hard. <laughs> Have you heard that new Lil Wayne song, Two Shots? Who's Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne's everywhere, dude. Little Wayne. Lil, like L I L, not L I T T L E. Thanks, man. I got a speeding ticket, too. Why? Well, I guess it's not a speeding ticket. I was going too slow. You were going too slow? Yeah, um,. You know, there was this weird song on the radio, I really liked it. Oh shit, dude. Um... Uh... Well, I'll call you later, man. right up here around the corner. I uh, don't even know this guy. Uh, it's a genetics lab. Or, I don't know, I think it's a genetics lab. I don't know, it's his doctor I know. I don't know, we all know him. Uh, we went to school with him. I think it's, it's 
name is Billy Corso. Billy? I I know that guy. Turn here. Yeah, it's right up here. human what do you mean I can't explain it to you he's not human he's got uh, two DNAs he's got a human DNA and a silicone base what does that mean after Todd gave me your sample I couldn't stop thinking about it I took it straight to the lab to examine it I soon realized this specimen is unknown to science itself it may have come from your friend's nose but the sample was not a mucinoid substance it was more like a tissue mass we worked around the clock to eludicate its composition. I've never seen anything like this. It doesn't even make sense. There's nothing like this in the literature. We did analyses of every type. And nothing came back organic. And nothing came back reputable to any genomic sequence available. As soon as I got it out of the centrifuge, this whole thing became time sensitive. I can't believe the substance is attempting to mimic human tissue. So what are you even saying, man? I'm saying that it's not human, and he's dying. Our samples are all dying. We have a limited amount of time to get to him.